is Dante Aleman, and I'm speaking to you from OctoberPanicAttack.com. Today, I want to tell you about a, an attraction in Maryland by the name of the Psycho Safari. There it is, the Psycho Safari, and that is at Prince George's Stadium, right there. This attraction is about 30 minutes from Hanover, Maryland, which is near Bennett's Curse, which is near Creepy Woods Haunted Forest. Okay, great stuff here. The Psycho Safari. This is in a stadium. This is actually in a stadium. Now, before you get all, uh, it's in a stadium, this thing's going to suck, you know. Oh, man, I've been to those attractions before where they do it in a, in a baseball stadium or something, and uh, it's never scary. I could not tell once we got into this attraction that we were in a stadium at all. I could not tell at all, okay? Once you enter into the Psycho Safari, you don't even know where the heck you are for the next, seems like a pretty darn long time, okay? The, the, I mean, I, I think we were in here for 20 minutes. I don't even know. I mean, it, it seemed like a really long attraction, okay? This is the Psycho Safari. Before you, let, let, let's just get out the obvious right here. Have you ever been to a haunted attraction before that was safari-themed? And would you even think that was scary? Well, I got to tell you, this is like... This was something that was really, really unique. I've never seen a Halloween haunted attraction that was safari themed before. And once again, keeping in line with Maryland's attractions, the props in here were insane. They were everywhere and they were mixed with actors. Okay, this was this is not an actor heavy attraction though. Know that. And some members of our group wanted more actors, but this is not a, an, an actor heavy attraction. But it didn't bother me one iota. Um, this place was filled to the brim with props everywhere. Um, it was a totally original concept. I never thought a safari theme would scare me, but it did. Um, one member of our group said that it brought him back to his childhood. It was retro. It was 80s. It felt like the old haunted houses. Okay, that was what one, one member of our group said. Um, th this was a place that was probably the loudest haunted attraction I've ever been to in my life. Okay, you might want to wear earplugs. There was somebody behind us with their fingers in their ears. This attraction is stinking loud. It is loud and it comes at you with vengeance. This place is crazy with noise. Um, there, were, there were some things in here I've never seen before. Um, Walking down a hallway and being scared to death involving gunshots and lighting. You're going to see some things in here. You, props are going to startle you with the sound, with the intensity, with the lighting. Um, they're shooting at you in this place, but you don't know who's shooting at you. And there are these long hallways and the longest claustrophobia we've ever experienced. I think everybody in the group agreed with that minus one or two people. Um, uh, to me, it felt like the longest claustrophobia I've ever been in. I was ready to freak out. And there are a couple claustrophobias in this attraction. Once again, if you're claustrophobic, this is not the attraction for you at all. Um, especially if you can't handle it. This, the, everything, there were things hanging everywhere. Like I said before, the props were insane. Okay, it was crazy. If I could sum up this attraction, the best word I could give you would be chaos. This is the best example of chaos that I've ever seen in a haunted attraction before. If you want chaos, you got to do the Psycho Safari. I mean, it's listen to that title. I mean, it sounds chaotic, doesn't it? A haunted attraction, safari themed. It has to be chaotic. But th when you enter this place, it is such a weird environment. There's water in the environment. There are animals in the environment. The loudest noises you've ever heard in, in here, and a crazy claustrophobia, and it is chaos. You're, I mean, there's stuff at every corner. It's loud. It's in your face. There are props jumping at you. There, it's like, it's craziness. And we had a pretty good group of people going through this in a line, and it was working for everybody. It seemed. I mean, we were all getting rattled, and, and this place is going to rattle your brain. It's like, it's like. It's like sensory overload, okay? It's like chaos. Um, the place felt very long, um, very tight hallways, okay? This, this kind of was working off of claustrophobia. 
we didn't experience any pitch black, um, like pitch black rooms and things like that. Um, but you will be in some darkness. And I've never seen this much fog in a haunted attraction before. Every room has fog. So if you are an asthmatic, stay the heck away from this. If you're claustrophobic, stay the heck away from this. If you're sensitive to loud noises, stay away from this. Okay? And I would say if you're epileptic, stay away from this as well. <laughs> they did some things with props that we've never seen before, and it was really, really impressive. Uh, all that said, there were divisions within our group. Um, some people just weren't as impressed with it. Others were impressed by it, but not in a scary way. And then for myself, I was actually scared. Um, I was really impressed, and I was really, really rattled. Uh, this is the Psycho Safari. I 100% recommend that you have to get the VIP for this particular attraction, or else you're going to be waiting like six hours. Okay, the, uh, the VIP for this attraction is only $8 more, and the attraction itself is really cheap. So you're gonna, with the VIP, it's like you're going to be just paying a regular ticket price. So come on out. Do the Psycho Safari. It's like 30, it's like 40 minutes away from Bennett's Curse. And, and Creepy Woods is around there. Do the Psycho Safari if you want something unique, something different, something retro, but something that's also going to chaotically rattle you and give you one of the longest claustrophobias I've ever seen and the loudest noises it's just crazy, folks. It's just crazy. The Psycho Safari Haunted House, Prince George's Stadium, Maryland. Thank you guys for giving us a great, uh, a great time. And it was, as our group said, very, very unexpected.